Hey everyone, my name is Oranges AI and welcome to my YouTube channel where we go over the latest tech and AI tools. In today's video, we're exploring something really, really, really dope and exciting. The brand new image generation feature in ChatGPT. Trust me, this is a video you do not want to miss. If you thought ChatGPT was just about text, think again. OpenAI has now equipped it with a capability that's bound to change the game image generation. From creating stunning artwork to designing complex objects, ChatGPT can now turn descriptions into detailed images, whether you're a graphic designer or a content creator, or just someone who loves to play around with AI. This feature is a game changer. Let's break down how it works. Okay, so for starters, there's two ways we can start creating images in ChatGPT. The first way is simply just typing in our text and clicking enter so that way it can create our image or we can make it more specific and hit the three dots here and select create an image. The reason why you want to select the three dots and create an image is uh, ChatGPT is very text-based. Um, that's how it kind of started. So it's a very good chance that you may uh, type in what you think is a prompt because you want to create an image but uh, ChatGPT may not recognize it that you actually want to create an image so kind of signaling it to create an image and uh, selecting that feature would uh, definitely allow you to be able to do that. So first things first, what we have, selfie of a young African-American woman in her bedroom, smiling at the camera, wearing braids, wearing a black t-shirt with the open AI logo. What I really wanna uh, show you guys is how great the text is. Now we all know if you've been following the channel, uh, different uh, generation, generator tools like Midjourney and, and Dolly is not all that great with text, but ChatGPT is really nailing it. And we definitely got it nailed with the realism here. Um, of the person. Uh, of course, I had to kind of modify the prompt the way um, I wanted to because, you know, it's AI still has certain biases. So, you know, for whatever you want it to look like is what you can kind of uh, modify the prompt to. Um, my second prompt here is uh, create an image, um, create a funny comic book strip with dialogue about what it's like to be a photographer. Um, so it created the text by itself. Now I could just have prompt uh, ChatGPT to create the, uh, the text in regards to first box, second box, third box, fourth box, but I really wanted to see what it did uh, on its own. Um, what's really cool about ChatGPT is I was able to kind of have a conversation with it along the way uh, to be able to get it a little bit tighter in terms of what I want it to look like. So um, I also asked it to create one in color and give it a life lesson at the end comparing photography to life, you know, what makes it more like a, you know, what makes it more like a graphic novel and make the characters diverse. So let's see if it did that. Did it um, create it in color? Absolutely. Uh, did it uh, talk about photography in life? Being a photographer is great. You get to capture amazing shots. Beautiful, just like that. A lot like real life kind of close not really um, I could definitely uh, generate the text that I wanted to um, say maybe I could just work with ChatGPT or just come up with my own quote um, and then giving more of a graphic novel you know type of feel um, I think it really did a good job at that uh, as compared to um, what it said before and that's one thing I really wanted to test if I can make have a conversation with it and can it improve the uh, prompt as it goes along and it, and it did for the most part. Uh, in this image, I went ahead and used a photo of myself, a photo I took while I was waiting on a client. As you guys know, I'm a photographer. So I was waiting on the client and I said, convert this in the, um, co convert this photo in Studio Ghibli anime style. So, um, and this is what it came up with. So really happy with how it looked from the the, the quality, the lines, the details. Um, I'm really happy with how it looked. And I think this right here is gonna be the new king of image references. You know, being able to just kind of simply upload an image of yourself and being able to get something uh, similar to it. Kind of like in a, there, there's certain small things that I see may not necessarily be the same, like the way like my mouth is kind of closed here versus how it's very open and expressive here, which is completely fine. I'm sure I could prompt further if I wanted to change that, but overall I'm pretty happy. 
All right. Next, I selected uh, create a movie poster using the Top Gun logo and an image of me that you created, that that you just created dressed as a firefighter pilot with an F-14 behind me at sunset, making it look realistic. So what I wanted to do was create an image of me and what I look like based off of the prompt that I provided before. Now, it definitely got my features and everything and maybe I could upload a new photo to get it specific to what I wanted it to look like, but from the mustache to the facial structure, I think it got pretty close. Definitely got my skin tone um, correct, but I love the text. The text is, is what really stands out here. Um, been able to like get the Top Gun logo and, and, and be able to like get as close as possible um, is what I really like. So, um, also asked it to recreate the movie poster with the iconic pose Ice Cube and Chris Tucker. Uh, it's the movie Friday, um, and this is where I ran into my first problem. Uh, it let me know that they were unable to recreate the movie poster using specific uh, characters or likenesses from the film. What I found is with ChatGPT and with a lot of image generators, when you type in specific names of celebrities or people, it may work and it may not. So sometimes it's a little up and down with it, but what you can do is say, hey, inspired by, and you can get a pretty close representation. So this would be Ice Cube and this would be uh, Chris Tucker. Um, so I kind of went a little bit more and I said, hey, make them uh, kind of female characters. Um, and then it added the text. I had them add the text as well. And the text came out uh, really good. Um, I really enjoyed that. I uh, used an image from the actual um, poster, the actual poster, just to see if they were able to do it. Um, and they weren't, they say I can't directly recreate copyrighted material but at the end they did say uh, I can design an original anime style movie poster inspired by the general layout and feel uh, of the Friday poster that you uploaded so ChatGPT gave me an alternative of what this would originally be it said that they can create something inspired by and this is what they did so uh, definitely not perfect not a one-to-one -one comparison but from the patterns in the person's shirt to the uh, just the layout of the characters, it's like, hey, I could work with that. Even the text, the text, the uh, uh, a lot can go down between uh, a lot can go down between Thursday and Saturday. It copied it directly. A lot can go down between Thursday and Saturday. If you ask me, the uh, <laughs> this version is a little bit more cleaner in terms of a, a, a layout and quality. So, but of course, I put the poster from the internet. So, um, so I was really happy with that. Uh, the next uh, image I asked it to create was uh, an image uh, featuring three models uh, in a way that inspired by modern trendy Fendi, tr trendy fashion and uh, H and M campaign. Um, what I wanted it to do was create three separate images because at this point I noticed that ChatGPT was only creating one image at a time and what it did in this uh, generation was it uh, created three models in one which is completely fine um, and it actually did a really excellent job but because I was in the same kind of chat as what I was creating before, and this is what I'm talking about in terms of continuing the conversation and how kind of working like separately in terms of your styles, like creating a new chat for every style that you want to create, or you know, if you want to create different things, uh, it'll be more beneficial because what it did was it copied the Friday text. Now, I was able to tell it to remove the Friday uh, text and make only one model, and it did it perfectly. So, um, creating your chat uh, similar to like create a new chat for every specific thing that you want to create would definitely be beneficial like if you wanted to just create some anime art if you just wanted to create some movie posters or if you just wanted to create some realistic uh, people i would create three different tracks um to do that just to make sure that things didn't um mix up um this is my attempt to try to create just text on a shirt here and I was able to uh, do that here, made in ChatGPT. Keep in mind, um, it's not gonna be perfect. Um, nothing is going to be, uh, is gonna take, is, is gonna work without you actually working 
on it a little bit as well. So I just want you to look at this image. Uh, very good, very realistic. Uh, but I also wanna remind you guys that you can always take this a step further. What I'm used to, uh, is a little bit more realistic realism in my images. I can tell when I, something is kind of created in ChatGPT. So what I did was I downloaded this image, which it gave me um, a really good megabytes as far as like size go, 2.4. Let's see what we got here. Downloads, 2.4 megabytes, which is uh, absolute high quality image, but I wanted to upscale it just a little bit more. So I uploaded it to magnific.ai. I uploaded it, I put portrait hard, two times scale factor, it goes up to 16. And I was able to go from here to here. So just look at the quality difference. Look at how you see the details and the skin and the imperfections, look how smooth that is, you know? So you do this enough times, you'll notice like, hey, you know what? I could get this to look a little bit better. And I was able to do that. So that way I could come up with this, uh, this uh, more of a realistic image. And of course we could take this further to clean, uh, to Minimax to be able to animate the image. But let's go back into ChatGPT here. And again, just look how great that text is. All right, so next, um, what we wanted to do was, uh, you know, modern day memes, you know, just kind of creating the memes and seeing if we could create an anime style, use it as a, as a reference and see, you know, how well it was able to uh, carry over. And this is fantastic. I love this. Um, I did notice some imperfections in regards to he's not actually looking at her. He's kind of looking off to the side and if you look if you really look detailed here, you could kind of see how it could kind of get confused a little bit. So one thing about ChatGPT, which you can't really do too well with the other uh, image generation tools is you could continue to talk to her. So I said, make the man look a little more flirty, like, like he's impressed, like he's saying, woo, and make the characters African-American. So, um, I was able to do that here and look what we got again. We got the Friday text. So again, let's, you know, creating it into a new chat is gonna definitely be key. Um, and I was able to kind of work with it again. I said, remove the text and make the aspect ratio four by three. It didn't quite do that. It made it by like 10, 1080 by 1080 square. Um, but I was able to work with it a little bit more make it that he's looking at the woman in the dress and woo reaction and the lady in the blue shirt is looking at the man. Also make it a landscape. Um, and I was able to be able to create this at the end of the day. So um, really enjoy the constant modification that we can make in uh, ChatGPT by simply just talking to it. Um, this didn't actually manifest and create, but um, this was gonna be a MetaQuest 3 inside uh, the uh, bunny. So uh, lastly, I'm gonna show you candid paparazzi style photo of the man in the photo. Just simply uploaded a picture of Robert Downey Jr. And I took the AI prompt from what we had here um, inside the OpenAI website here. And it was a picture of, I believe, Karl Marx. And I was able to kind of copy the text here, change the name, and be able to kind of create this image. And keep in mind, you know, we can always use tools like Mid Journey and Photoshop to kind of expand it out a little bit, uh, so that way it can be a landscape uh, photo. But yeah, that's what we got. So, go through. Oh yeah, I use my own image too. So, candid paparazzi style shot. I just use my face as the, as a, as a reference and it got pretty close. Um, I, it got the style of it, so I really enjoyed it, you know. Don't know if I'm gonna use that or not. Um, oh, as a matter of fact, I told him to make it, make my hat backwards, and it did. So, um, really happy about uh, the new image generation tool in ChatGPT. It, the opportunities are endless, you know, from product photos to upload, uh, you know, image references to uploads. You know, a lot of people like to see themselves 
in different styles and in different anime or cartoon or or, or or illustrations or you know just even just product images there's so many things that we can do um, i think uh, ChatGPT and OpenAI has definitely carved their own lane inside the image generation uh, tool by adding, you know, the the the, the, the chat feature and, and being able to like just really like change the game with it. And um, I'm really enjoying um, everything I'm loving about it. I can't wait to dive back into it and uh, create even more. Um, I would love to know what your your thoughts are. Please leave them in the comments below and let me know what other videos you want to see or how else you want me to use the tool so that way you can um, also kind of just be successful at it as well and just for transparency I'm using the $20 version um, $20 a month not the $200 a month version I don't think I'm ever do that but $20 a month version I'm not sure if it's uh, allows you to do it with the free version, but at least with the $20 version, it does. Um, and uh, yeah, just would love to know what you guys' thoughts on are on the new ChatGPT feature. Till next time, y'all. Peace.